Okay, girl, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can create a high quality book using ChatGPT that can actually sell. If you're new here, I'm Latoya Nicole, and God has blessed me to build a multi six figure publishing business, publishing coloring books just like these, as well as I've helped hundreds of women publish and make money from their KDP businesses. So with that being said, let me show you how you can use ChatGPT to sell on Amazon KDP even as a beginner. But before we get started, I wanna let you know that when it comes to creating an AI book for Amazon KDP, it's very, very important that you focus on quality because it's so easy to create a book with AI. So a lot of people just spam as many books as possible and hope that one of those books just becomes a bestseller. But that's not how I teach. I want you to focus on quality over quantity because if you don't have a high quality book, that's one of the main reasons that could get your book blocked on Amazon KDP or you just won't make any money at all. So AI is very useful at reducing production costs because this book was published before AI was even a thing. So when I hired an illustrator, it costs way more money than it does to have a $20 a month chat GPT plan. And another advantage of AI is that you can get your book done sooner. And really, if you get to it, you can do a book in less than 24 hours. So even though AI can reduce production costs and increase the speed of creating the book, you still want to make sure the book is actually a good book. So the big question is, how can you create a high quality book with chat GPT? So let me go on and show you how to do that. And we're going to be creating, of course, my fave, a coloring book. Let's head over to chat GPT. So the first thing you want to use use chat GPT to do is to help you figure out a niche for your coloring book. So if you come to Amazon, you'll see when you do a coloring book search, these are some of the different types of coloring books that you can create. So some example niches are animal coloring books, cities and architecture, comics, fantasy and science fiction, fashion coloring books, flowers and landscape, humorous coloring books, mandalas and patterns, religious and inspirational, and science and anatomy. So these are just some of the main niches that um, Amazon KDP recognizes, but you can also do sub niches, so niches within these niches. So think of like a self-love quote coloring book or affirmations uh, with natural hairstyles or women in wellness themed coloring books. So I'm gonna let ChatGPT help me figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new conversation then I'm going to go ahead and enter in my prompt. So I'm saying give me 10 coloring book themes that will appeal to black women between ages 25 and 45 who love self-care, entrepreneurship, and affirmations. But of course, you would just be able to ask ChatGPT for ideas that match your audience or the idea that you may have already had. So ChatGPT says here are 10 coloring book themes that will resonate with black women ages 25 to 45 who value self-care, entrepreneurship, and affirmations. So for the first one, it says boss moves only. And so this could be a coloring book filled with motivational quotes and illustrations of stylish black women building empires, taking meetings, and managing brands. And then you have Radiate and Reflect, a self-care journey. Each page features affirmations paired with an imagery of rest, spa days, journaling, and personal reflection. Then it even recommends one called Mind Your Businesses. So this one is an entrepreneur themed design mixed with witty quotes about grinding and grace, boundaries, and black girl luxury. So even though it does kind of give you a general idea of what you may want to use for your title, I'm going to still ask it to generate me a title and a subtitle for this type of book. I'm going to say suggest 10 titles for a coloring book celebrating black women who are focused on rest, joy, and healing. All right, so some coloring book title ideas to celebrate black women embracing rest, joy, and healing. Um, Sacred Paws, a coloring book for black women who are healing. Rest Like a Queen, Black Girl Stillness, In Bloom, Rest, Joy, and Radiance. She Chose Joy, a coloring book of gentle affirmations. And now that I have my title, what I'm gonna do is create a book description. Can you create a book description with SEO keywords for this coloring book title? All right, so ChatGPT has given a detailed description. Now for any of the information that we're using for ChatGPT, I want you to keep in mind, you're just using these as 
ideas. You're not using these things word for word. I am just showing you how to brainstorm and get ideas using ChatGPT that you can use as a template to insert some of the ideas that you actually thought of. So here is an example description. It even has bullet points that kind of separate the description so that everything's not so bulky as well as a feature section. And it went ahead and gave you some of the keywords that you can use because Amazon KDP has a keyword section where when you get ready to publish your book, you have seven keyword slots where you can enter some of the keywords that would be most applicable for your book. And since this particular book uh, was an affirmation book, you can either choose to have images and affirmations or include affirmations all throughout the book. So maybe like every five coloring pages or so, I would include an affirmation behind that coloring page or maybe at the back of the coloring book, having some coloring page affirmations back there as well. So if you were gonna include affirmations in your coloring book, then you could use a prompt that says something like, give me, um, I'm just gonna say, give me five short empowering affirmations for this coloring book. I'm also gonna say, I want them as, I want them as colorable images. And let's see what we get for these affirmations, if ChatGPT can produce this for me. All right, so what it did was it gave me the prompts that I could use for the colorable images. So for example, the first affirmation, my joy is non-negotiable. So it says perfect with imagery of a serene black woman smiling surrounded by flowers, sun, or cozy home element. So it actually gave me the affirmation and a prompt to use if I wanted to go ahead and generate an image. So let's try it out. I'm gonna just copy and paste this and I'm just gonna say, create a simple coloring book image of a serene black woman smiling, surrounded by flowers, sun, or cozy home element. This is like my favorite part, so I'm interested in seeing what it produces. All right, so it's actually giving me two images to choose from. I actually like that. So this is an example of the first image, and then this is an example of the second image. I actually like this one the best. And so if you wanted to, you can generate all of your images to have some text on it. So once you have the image that you want, just come here and save that image. And so since I liked one of the images, I'm just gonna come and copy and paste my last prompt, and then I'm just gonna insert this second one here. So create a simple coloring book image paired with a peaceful bedroom scene, tea, candles, or cozy chair and blanket. But as you can see, ChatGPT makes the process so easy because you can literally ask it everything that you need for your book step by step. And so this one says, I am worthy of rest. I love this style image as well. So I will go ahead and save that one. And so from there, you can use this exact same process to generate book cover ideas as well. And so if I wanted to generate a book cover for this particular book, I might say something like, can you create a book cover for this coloring book using fun, bright colors? And so this is just a sample of a starting place that can inspire you as you are um, creating your cover. And then something else that I like to do um, sometimes when I get to this part, when I'm just playing around to see what style cover I may want to use, I'll say something like, can you give me a prompt that I should ask you to create my cover for this coloring book so that it looks like a similar style to some of the popular coloring books that are selling on Amazon. And so it gave me this prompt. So I just simply copied and pasted that prompt and then it gave me this example book cover. Now, one thing I want to tell you about your book covers, your book cover is gonna be the first thing that your potential customer is going to see. So you want your book cover to stand out. So if you go and look on Amazon and you see that this cover does not match the cover of some that are already selling, then you can continue to play around with different prompts or you can take this sample image and hire someone on sites like Upwork or Fiverr. And so if you're looking to hire someone and you do a search that says coloring book cover, these are some of the freelancers that you can look through their portfolios to see if you like their work. And if you like their work, then you can go ahead and hire them. For example, this one starts at $10. And so this is just a workaround. If you see that you're not able to get your cover like you like it in ChatGPT and you don't particularly have design skills yourself, 
then you can always hire someone. And so you can use this service to outsource the whole entire coloring book if you wanted to. For example, this gig has a 4.9 um, star review, has 20 reviews, and then it starts with 15 coloring pages for $15. And I actually have a step-by-step -step video on how you can hire an illustrator and cover designer on Fiverr. So if you want to check that out, it'll be linked in the description below. And I'll also go ahead and leave a link to the Fiverr gigs for you as well. So once you're done in ChatGPT, you can use Canva to um, put your book together. Once you have your two files, you will come to kdp.amazon.com click on create so that you can go ahead and start publishing your paperback. Now I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to upload your paperback to Amazon KDP. But one thing I did want to show you is when you get to the AI generated content section, you're just going to want to make sure that you do include that you use AI to create this coloring book. So if you're ready to publish your coloring book using AI, I have two free step-by-step -step tutorials walking you through the entire creation and publishing process. One is using ChatGPT's AI and one is using Canva's AI. All right guys, so that is how you use ChatGPT to sell on Amazon KDP. And if you get stuck with any part of the process using ChatGPT, all you literally have to do is ask ChatGPT, can you give me a prompt to help me figure out how to ask you this particular thing. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe so that I know to keep putting out more content like this. Until next time, bye-bye.